Nope, turns out I'm going mad again and I'm chasing after items that don't exist. Right, okay, well, the Blood Moon is over. I decided to wait until the uh, the night was the night was done. And yes, there's a, there's a lot of stuff lying around. So let us see how much we have. More stock looks. Uh, how much stuff we have after all of this. I imagine we're going to have quite a lot of stuff. Which is definitely useful. I still didn't put in those goddamn doors. I was going to put some doors in this little tower bit. Oh, I never did it. Oh well. Uh, uh, right. Yes, so let's throw those over there for a moment. Just to allow me to put all of this in the old thing. And we got ourselves a Mystic Klinger Staff. A dart rifle. Two chain guillotines, whatever they do. So, it's a technically thrown weapon? I don't know. Uh, Mermaid, uh, Neptune Shell even. Chlorified Ore. It's a bit random. I've got Chlorified Bars from one of them. And Epic... Epic Core. Okay. Deposit it all there. Uh, I can actually make, I think. I can't because I've used all my Hallowed Bars and upgrading my storage system. No matter. It doesn't doesn't concern me in the slightest. Yeah, we're gonna go over to the sulfurous sand now and get the sulfurous sand so we can make ourselves the old uh, um, Paul Summoner. Yes. Uh, yeah, so those items that I was actually after were the ones that were in the Goblin Tinker shop. However, I was fairly certain that there was one that looked like a sword and basically gave you all of your stats. And it looks like I was just making it up. Unless, of course, I was simply looking in the wrong area on the wiki page. I probably was. But I will... I don't, I don't know. Why are you still out here? Why aren't you in the house? I mean, you not... Do you not like being in... That's... So, do you have a house? Stay over there and don't move. Stop going on expeditions to the freaking ice biome. You're going to get yourself killed. I'm not sure how much health he has, actually. I don't think it says in that little area, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, well. Hang on, why is my balloon shining again? Ah, that's why. Yes. Oh, uh, well. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to fight that boss today. Unless I make it a long episode. Like I kind of did with the last one. Eh, I don't know. The thing is, right, I'm this... I used to do, like, hour-long episodes... Although, I uploaded a little... How long did I upload? I think I uploaded like every couple of days. I can't remember. I can't remember when I uploaded, to be honest. It's been a while since I've uh, been doing the whole half an hour thing. And then... So the way it worked is basically I did an hour for a while. And then some, some people said, oh that's a bit too long. Uh, so I was like, all right, they're not going to done half hour. Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, that's still too long. All right, I'll cut it into 15 minute chunks. I haven't had any complaints since. Well, they're not really complaints, but... I mean, it's going to change from person to person. I mean, I'm the sort of person who will quite happily sit down and watch hour long videos. I mean, the people that I watch, like, uh, many a true nerd, uh, Halloween, 4545, I mean, Halloween does sets much like I do, that's kind of where I got the idea from, to sort of uh, split them, sort of. not, in, it's not exactly in the way he does, he, he actually uses this thing called an editing software, whereas I don't, 
but yeah, many a true nerd does like hour-long videos, so I'll quite happily just sit down and watch one of his playlists. I mean, t I mean, he uploaded a two and a half hour video essay about the um, Fallout 76 the other day. It's just utterly ridiculous. Take all of this. I know I probably could. Uh, oh, why is there? That's a. That looks like a crocodile. It kind of is a crocodile. And there's a random turkey underneath here. I'll tell you what these kind of look like actually. I was watching uh, the Emperor had a text to speech device, and it was a uh, episode about the, uh, the war. Technically, uh, where Magnus the Red decided that he turned into Steve Irwin. And they had these things in it called crotalids, and they're basically like angry warp alligators that teleport everywhere and can quite easily deal with an Astartes, i.e., a space marine, and traveling packs. It was quite funny. It was quite a funny episode. Uh, but yeah, they kind of look like that. Somewhere. Right. Okay. We're only at six minutes. Okay. So uh, I'm going in completely the wrong direction. I need to go this way. Right. Now, what was that thing called? Uh, it was called the seafood. Right. Uh, see, food, and eat it. Now, unfortunately, I only have one attempt at this, so I imagine this is going to go very well. I can't be bothered to walk back. Where's the alchemist? There you are. Do you have a potion to teleport me to the sulfuric sea? Well, the ocean. Side depends on used mouse button. Will not teleport you if no corals exist. It doesn't seem to s uh, call the sulfuric sea. Oh, it teleported me right into the middle of it. I'm not really surprised that happened. Alright, okay. Let's give it a go, shall we? I probably should have prepared better for this. So where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Ow. He's basically just the eater of worlds, but blue. With homing spike attack. Oh, and he drops poison. Lovely. Uh, I've run out of... Oh, oh, I'm being attacked by the flying spine things again. Oh dear. I didn't plan this very well, did I? Uh, if I... Oh dear. If I go this way, is he going to... Ah, yeah. Ah. I nearly got him, 33%. Alright. Alright. I also didn't put my money in the chest again, because I'm incredibly dopey, apparently. Alright. Alchemist! Right, two. I need two of these, and then teleport to that side. And I need sharks. Ooh, the Leviathan spawner's there. Alright. Tell you what. Just just for uh, just for shit and giggles, let's uh Let's take on the old Leviathan, shall we? Because I'd see no sharks. There's a siren. 
I thought that was a Leviathan, but clearly not. So who's the Siren, then? Well, I know who the Siren is, but... Oh my god, you have homing attacks. Hey, I'm not too bad. Yet. No, in my luck, I'm probably gonna... What on earth? Ha-ha! I'm guessing if I hit those notes, it will charm me. So let's not hit the notes. Unless I can hit them. Oh, slow down. Ah, there's a Leviathan. Can I... Oh, Jesus Christ! That is massive! He's a bit bigger than I remember. <laughs> Uh, if I... Well, that kind of worked. That was a bit of a waste of gold, though, to be honest. Because I now have to teleport back again. Uh, okay, well, it was worth a try. Uh, so let's go back to the old... Ow! Oh, damn it, I went the wrong one. Well, I'm not buying another one, so... Actually, I've got the gold. Might as well, I suppose. Why not waste all of my gold? Uh, ocean. And let's go and put everything in the chest. And do that. And do that. think that's enough. Uh, that can stay with me and everything else can go in. So, back to the, back to the old thingy me jig. And hope a shark spawns. I mean they're not exactly the most common of beings. It's like playing the uh, the Jaws game on oh, it was like NES or something. You're waiting around for like oh, not you again. No, we're not attacking you this time. And I've set her on fire. Oh dear! Hopefully that doesn't kill her. Sharks! I demand sharks! Ah, good, that thing despawned. Despawned. Not despawned. That's not a word. Ah, come on. I think this is going to have to be something I do off camera, isn't it? It looks like it's just freaking oh, pirate. Something's a pirate invasion. You know what? Let's go. Pirate invasion time. Pirates are approaching from the east. Well, in that case, I'm heading in completely the wrong direction. No, wait, I am in the right direction, aren't I? Aren't I? Where are they? Hmm. Come on, pirates. I'm on my perch. Ready to kill you. Jellyfish necklace provides a small amount of light in the abyss. That could be quite helpful, actually. Come on. Any day now would be nice. I'm starting to think they've gotten lost on the way here. Pirates are approaching from the east. Yes, you've said that before. Ah, finally. We're taking you half a century. This should be relatively simple. I'm a little bit over level for this, I think. But no matter. The only things that are really going to pose a threat to me are the captains and the uh, ships. Like the Flying Dutchman or whatever. Uh, 
Can you stop shooting me, please? Are you firing cannonballs? Or am I going mad? Oh, I'm probably going mad. Ooh, Cutlass. That's going to help. Which damage does it do? 51. Uh, I've already got better weapons than that. Much, much better weapons. I'll take that Golden Lantern, though. I think the Pirate Captain does actually have a ranged attack. <laughs> already I've killed 50 Pirate Deckhands. This is not going to take as long as I thought. Oh, a golden dresser. And why they're bringing pieces of furniture with them, I don't know. A golden sofa. Oh, there's a flying Dutchman. Come on then. There's uh, the old. There we go. Lovely. This is working out quite nicely. Ha ha! Flying Dutchman trophy. I was kind of hoping for something a bit more significant. Oh, I nearly caused it to despawn there. That's a little bit silly. Like the invasion itself. You're pretty rubbish at this, pirates. Achievement complete. Walk the plank. Indeed, we have beaten the pirate invasion. And we got a lot of gold and stuff. Still, I've got a new trophy to put on my wall. And I've got a load of gold. Oh, we can spruce up our... Uh, spruce up our bedroom a bit. I think I like that. What's the, what looks better? Eh. I mean... The gold is better for, like, a prince, which he is, or Kassner is. And yes, I know the character is actually called Kaldaris, but he's based on, based on Kassner, so. If I start putting in a, if I put in a golden sofa and a golden table, then people are going to want to live in here. I could just tell them to toddle off, though. Just put a golden sink over here. Ah, stuff. We'll have gold everything. What do you mean spawn point removed? Alright. Put the golden dresser in. And we'll put the golden sofa over here. Should we put the golden table next to it? Yeah, we'll put the golden table next to it. And a golden door. Who brings a freaking door to a battle? Pirates, apparently. Menacing Moonstone. Increases all stats if well worn at night. I am not interested. Oh, we got the Broken Hero Sword, though. We got another one of those freaking things. Mark, I've got all five of them already. Golden Lantern. Or a Chandelier. Hmm. Which do I have? Or a Golden Clock. We could put in a clock. A giant gold clock. Just to, just to increase our pure, I don't know, stupidity. There we go. Golden platforms. I'm putting the gold door there. I mean, technically I could have my sort of bedroom up here, but that's what I was originally trying to do, but then I just sort of decided to make it into a tower, for which I could uh, always like a launching off point. Hey-ho. Right. I think, ladies and gentlemen, that will be enough for today. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been Kaldaris. Goodbye.